Here at New Gen Marketing, we've talked a ton about different social platforms and how you connect to your audience that way. But there's one place that all of those platforms are pointing to, and that is your website. And it's so different than the websites of five years ago in what you need to be doing. So this week, we're breaking down what you should be doing for your website to attract this next generation. Like any other marketing technique, the first thing we need to do is define the purpose of our website. So who is our target audience and why are they coming here? Because those things are going to determine everything else that we choose. So what is the point that people are trying to get through on your site? Do they want to see your products? Do they want to see your services? Do they want to connect with you? What are you trying to get people to do by having them come to your site? The second thing is we have to define our domain name. We want a domain name that's easy to remember. It's easy to repeat out loud, lifestyled.media. We also want something that can be replicated on our social platforms so it can be the same, so people don't have to remember two different things. We also want it to be easy to be written out. So whether it's printed in actual print media on a brochure or a poster, or if it's something that's gonna show up at the bottom of a, of a video, we have to make sure that all those things work well together. So defining your domain name is really important because it has to match everything else for the lifetime of your business. So once you've defined your purpose and figured out what your domain name is, we need to actually shift into the creation stage. So the first thing is to figure out what platform you're going to use based on what your purpose is. So if you're a products brand, you're gonna be using Shopify. If you need something really advanced, you're gonna be hiring a designer with WordPress. Um, we're big proponents of Squarespace, both for beginner builders and for advanced design work like we do. Um, that's how we build our client sites. That's how we build our own site. Um, and Squarespace is a great way to get started. So once you've defined what platform you're using, now we need to actually put together our layout and our design. So first for our design, we want our site to be consistent with our other platforms that we're using, all our social platforms, all the visual branding we have anywhere else. So we wanna make sure if somebody goes on our Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or sees an advertisement or a video that we've done and then looks at our site, that it feels consistent, that it feels like it's been done by the same person. So make sure that your branding is implemented, that your colors are implemented, all of that stuff that we talk about every single time. We talk about any kind of marketing technique. So for layout, we want to make sure we're constantly pushing people to our call to action. So that's another piece that we need to define based on our purpose is our call to action. So we want to know, okay, what do we want our audience to be doing on this site? We want to constantly be creating our layouts so that it shifts people there. If you're a product brand, it's easy, right? We want to make sure they're buying our product. If you're a speaker, we want to make sure people sign up to have you speak at their event. For us, we want to make sure brands and entrepreneurs and companies reach out to us to begin doing marketing work. So the second you go onto our website, you see our call to action right at the top of the page. You also see that at the bottom of every single page is our call to action. Connect with us, talk with us. That is so essential. You don't want someone to go onto your website and not know what they're supposed to be doing. So make a very clear call to action and make sure that your layouts are all supporting that. The next thing is making sure that your SEO is consistent to allow you to rank on search engines. So that's the number one reason we actually want a website, right? Because we're probably connecting with more people on our social platforms, but people who are searching on Google are going to be more likely to find us if we have a search engine optimized website. We're gonna do a whole episode on this, but we want to make sure that the things that we do and where we are, if we're local based, or what our services are, or our products are, are making sure that they're able to be found by search engines. 
so that when someone searches something you do, let's say they want to find local streetwear in Philly. So if they search streetwear brand in Philly, we want to be as high up as we can on that search engine. And that starts with us as we're creating our website to make sure that all of those words that Google can find are there. The last thing to keep in mind as you're building your website is the same thing we talked about with TikTok, is viewing your analytics and making changes as needed. Google has so many great analytics. Squarespace has so many built-in great analytics for you to look and say, okay, how long are people spending on my page? What pages are people spending on? What is the journey of it? Where do they start? Where do they end? Figuring out, okay, people aren't spending enough time on the page I want them to. They are, we're losing people. They're filling stuff in their car, but they're leaving. Figuring out those things and making things easier in that process. To again, go back to our purpose. We wanna make sure that people are actually fulfilling our purpose. And our analytics help us see if that's actually happening. And if not, then we can make changes as needed. So as you build your site, first define your purpose, find a domain name that's going to match everything, build a visual brand on your website that's consistent with everything else you're doing, and then fulfill that purpose in every other way, making sure people are going to your call to action, making sure people are doing what you need them to do on their site and that they know what they need to do. If you have any other questions or want more information, feel free to reach out to us at lifestyle.media. But until next time, this has been New Gen Marketing.